Hey y'all, this is Lynn from Small Town Southern Wife, and I wanted to show y'all how we're cooking our canned squash that we canned the other week. And if you hadn't seen that video, go look it up. It's on our uh, link. It's a uh, canning squash in an epidemic, so go check it out. But I wanted to share with y'all how we're cooking it. And what you're going to need to cook it is one tablespoon of self-rising flour, a half a cup of white onions, a fourth of a teaspoon of pink salt or whatever salt you like and a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper and that's all there is to it so let's go over here and let me show y'all how we're gonna cook it let's get cooking all right we're fixing to get started on cooking this canned squash i'm gonna show y'all how we do it uh first off you got to take and undo your seal on your can and i use one of these little things and then we're going to drain this, the water off of the squash. And I've got a drainer set up over here, and I'm just going to pour my squash out and drain that water out that we used to can it with. And I've already got my skillet heating up. And the way I'm going to, that I do it is I just cover the bottom of my skillet just with a little bit of oil, not much, just enough to coat the bottom of the skillet. And let that start getting hot. Just a little. And that way we can start using that to uh, cook our onions in. And that, that squash is over there draining all that water off of it. I'm just gonna let it sit there while we cook these onions up and get them started. And we're using olive oil. That was olive oil that I used to coat the skillet with. And you know that we used our iron skillets. I'm gonna go ahead and Put that in there and let those onions start cooking. And I've got my heat on like medium heat, medium to high actually, because you want it to have a pretty good heat to it. That way your squash will get a brown color to it. You want to brown it a little bit. It gives it a little crispy taste to it almost. Start letting the onions cook down. I'm gonna try to jump out of there. Y'all see that? Just let those cook for about, probably about three minutes or so. Maybe not that long. You Just ever how long you like, how brown you like them is how long you'll need to cook them. I hope y'all can see good. We're gonna I'm gonna also be doing a squash casserole recipe. And while those are browning, I'll tell you what we're, what we're going to use in it, too. We're going to use one-fourth teaspoon of salt and one-fourth teaspoon of black pepper and one tablespoon of self-rising flour. Once you get the squash in there, we're going to sprinkle that one tablespoon of flour over the onions in the squash. See how those onions are browning up? Get 
getting a good color to them. So at this point, right now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and add my squash. And it's gonna sizzle because that pan is good and hot. I'm going to add my one tablespoon of flour. Put that aside, and then I'm going to add one fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And one fourth teaspoon of black pepper. And just let that start browning up. Mix that flour in just a little. And that's about all. And then just let it sit there. And start browning up. And you want to keep that, uh, keep it turned every once in a while so both sides can get a brown, crispy taste to it. See how it's starting to turn brown? Let's get that off of there. We don't want to lose none of those onions. While that's browning, I'll pause right here and I'll bring y'all back once it starts getting a little bit browner. Okay, it's starting to brown, so I brought y'all back. It's, you gotta you know, keep your pan like to medium high. Keep it turned every once in a while. About every three or four minutes. Why right, because it's really starting to turn brown now. And that's what you want. That's what gives it that flavor. And that little bit of flour you put in there gives it a tiny bit of thickness to it. Keep it flipped.
and we're getting almost to there the way we like it. And then if you like it browner, you could go browner, or if you don't want it as brown, you could, you know, don't cook it quite as long. those jars actually feed like two people maybe three if you have your other you know sides to go with it see how good and crispy and brown those little pieces are right there that's what makes it so good that's what gives it that good taste But right there, I'm going to call it quits, and I'm going to plate it up. So uh, let me get it plated up, and I'll bring y'all back. Okay, y'all, here we are back. This is after we got the squash as brown as we like it. And here's the jar, uh, another jar. This, that's what it looks like whenever you start, and this is what it looks like when you finished. And... I'll hold it up where y'all can see it good, but see all that brown crispiness in there? It's going to be good. That's what's for supper tonight. We'll probably have some, like, black eyed peas to go with it, and not really sure yet what, but this would make a good side item for any supper you want to try to have. And if y'all like it, give me a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.